Hey there, stargazers and space enthusiasts. It's Bob Bonadar here from the Milwaukee Public Museum. We have another video, this one calling it Blast Off America because we're finally going to launch American astronauts into space on Wednesday, May 27th. Here's a video of the space shuttle back in 2011. It's been almost nine years since we've launched our own astronauts. Lately, they've been going up on Russian rockets. There are the two astronauts, Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley. They're the ones going to be taking the Falcon 9 rocket from SpaceX and NASA. Going to, again, Wednesday the 27th. Hopefully everything goes good. This is a, a test flight way back in uh, January of 2020. So where are these two astronauts going? Uh, to the space station. You can see it right by the moon there, that slow-moving star-like object. That's the space station. You can actually see it in the sky, so you can say hi to the astronauts. But I hope you never see this. It's just a zoom up in the space station. So that's where they're going, not that far away, about 250 miles up. So you can see them and they can see you. That is a view from the cupola aboard the space station. They go around the entire planet Earth in an hour and a half. They're moving five miles per second. Back to the night sky here on May 27th. You'll see the moon in the sky. You may wonder, are we ever going back to the moon? It's been quite a while since we've been there. 1972, the Saturn V took the last Apollo astronauts there. The first ones, of course, Neil Armstrong leaving that famous footprint. We do have plans to go back. It's called Artemis in the SLS rocket. We hope to get there by 2024. We'll see if it happens. It might be unlikely, it might happen. Over in the northwest sky, you can still look for Mercury and Venus. We're going to lose Venus altogether by the end of May, but Mercury you should have no problem uh, seeing. Let's get a little darker here and go to about 10 o'clock, a little deeper into the Earth's shadow. You can look for the Big Dipper high overhead. And remember, the front two stars of the Dipper's bowl will lead you to the North Star. And the other end of the Dipper, you can follow the Arc to Arcturus and then speed on to spike at two bright spring summer stars that you can see. You may wonder, will we ever blast off to the stars? Well, we're not even close. We don't have the technology, and it would take hundreds of thousands of years to get to the stars. All right, let's spin the Earth a little faster and roll you through the short night here. It's 4.30 in the morning. Yes, you got to get up pretty early to see the sky. Uh, straight overhead, you'll see the Summer Triangle. Uh, that's pretty easy to spot. And then down below toward the south, you'll see Jupiter and Saturn right next door. And then Mars over to the southeast. And folks, we are going to blast off to Mars soon in July. And here is the Curiosity rover that landed there, my goodness, way back about eight years ago, 2012. The next one, called the Mars 2020 rover, uh, is going to get there in February of 2021. It takes about seven, eight months to get there. And we recently had a naming contest, and NASA likes kids to name the rovers, and that's called Perseverance now. And Ingenuity is a little drone helicopter that's going to fly on Mars. And are we going to blast off to Jupiter or Saturn? Well, no, we already blasted off to Jupiter. We have Juno orbiting uh, Jupiter right now. It's been there for about three years, uh, four years now. And the pictures have been just awesome. So that's it, folks. Blast off America. If you have any questions, just contact us here at the Planetarium.